Well, we did tell you on this program yesterday that the gubernatorial election in the coastal town of Mombasa was cancelled uh, due to issues with the ballot papers. But the polls went ahead for other elected positions, as the BBC's Abu Bakar Famao reports. It was a long-awaited day for Kenyans. Voters flocked to their respective polling centers as early as five, <laughs> patiently queuing up to cast their votes. And when they were ushered in, it was all smiles. But for others, the day started with disappointment. Long delays were experienced with some voters left stranded with no official communication from the electoral body. Mombasa is one of the counties where the governor elections have been suspended. Abdul Swamad Sharif Nasir, one of the main contenders, was not able to vote for himself. It's not affected my spirits. My spirits have not been, uh, uh, been down. My role as a leader right now is to ensure that uh, people come out in large numbers to be able to vote uh, as their democratic right. And trust my words, they were expecting to dampen our spirits to make us, uh, um, you know, uh, our morals to be down, but uh, no, not at all. Meanwhile, voter turnout has been significantly affected due to the postponement of the governor polls. Some locals here say their spirits are completely deflated. You cannot wake up and say a day before elections that we cannot vote for governor. It doesn't matter what side you're on. People were psyched up to come and vote today. It's disappointing. It's disappointing and it's not what we expected of IBC. It's very unfortunate because I don't know what went wrong and it shouldn't have gone wrong because the governor is the, the boss of this town. So at the moment, I don't know how we shall be living without a governor and how long we are going to live without a governor. According to the electoral body, the suspended governor polls will be held at least a fortnight from now. So, for some Mombasa residents, these elections are far from over. Abu Bakar Famau, BBC.